good. Nice to see you. I get to you visit too. you in your hometown now. Yeah, well, we're always somewhere else. Welcome to Detroit. Fortunately, there's no snow. The trees are really good colors. Well, it's actually a good time of year. outside and we're not yeah. even in winter yet. So no. this is cold for Miami. People. It's actually it, for Miami, <laughs> yeah. But this is really one of the best times of year to be in Detroit because of the nice. colors. There's really no snow yet. It is chilly, but it's actually pretty decent. No bugs. Well, you're used to it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No jacket. I have yeah, right. jacket. <laughs> I know. I could so use a small cap. We're in the 19, 2019 uh, Ram. Uh, which one it is? The Limited. So 1500 it's like Limited, yep. Almost almost the top of the line, right? It is the top line. This is actually the linebacker. What about the Longhorn? Yep. That's actually just just below it, but a lot of the interior features are more apt to like a Southwestern styling. So you have oh, a little oh, I see, more I see, contrast. I see. Okay. You know, think of it, this is the truck that somebody with a really nice boat and behind him when he's towing. Uh, the, somebody's probably towing a really nice horse trailer with a very expensive horse in the back of oh, the Longhorn. Okay, okay. I mean, we already had a chance to drive it uh, in Arizona back in, I think it was in the summer, I think, mm -hmm. or even earlier, I don't remember now. Yeah, just before. But uh, anyway, there was, during that event, that announcement that the e-truck technology was coming to these cars and we hadn't tried it yet, so this is my first opportunity to do it. What can you tell us about it? I hear it's like a great <laughs> feature for efficiency, for drive, comfort driving and all that, right? Yeah, a lot of people, feel like, I think they're kind of confused about how it works and what it does. So let's just run through that real quick. Like any other mild hybrid system, we have stop start on the truck. So we've worked very hard to make that extremely smooth and having that other level of separation between the driver and a body on frame vehicle, we can make it really smooth. That has your experience been pretty smooth with the way yeah. e-torque works. So the stop and start is very smooth and we are doing that with the components as a, a, a bell starter generator on the, on the engine and then also have a 48 volt battery pack in the back. And those two work together on top of the existing powertrain. So in stop start, we can hold it in stop start for up to 10 minutes oh. if you need to, depending on cabin comfort. And at a stoplight for about 90 seconds, if it's sitting there and you miss the light, which most people do about 10 times a day, that's 1.7 ounces of fuel. Just one stop? One stop. Wow. And a V8. If you so stop. So we're driving eight hours, it'll be that bottle we Well, so yeah. Many times. Depending on how many times you hit it, how yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah. you are in to stop start and how long it is. But when you're at a stop like don't don't put that on the floor. And a lot of people want to kill, they don't like the way yeah. the stop start feels, but we worked very hard to make it very smooth on the Ram 1500. Yeah, in the in the original systems, like almost like 10 years ago in other manufacturers, it was really disturbing. Like you'll think like you killed the car. So now, so now we're do doing it. Right there you go. I mean, super quiet. Nothing happening. So we're already saving. Mm -hmm. You're saving fuel right now. Those in like, eight injectors aren't running yeah. on a Hemi. Yeah, this so is the B8, yeah, fuel. by the way. And yeah. then you can go ahead and pull your foot and we'll be quiet and listen to a start. Well, the, it's not green yet. Yeah, but that was it right there, right? <laughs> yeah. But that was it. So the stop start function is very smooth and that's just one mode of operation. There's yeah. five more. The second one's e-roll assist. As soon as you pull your foot off the brake there and the truck senses you want to be staged for motion, within the blink of an eye, 400 milliseconds, it does what we call an e-roll assist. So a half tire rotations electric working with the engine until it ramps up and then the handshake happens and the engine takes over but from very there. Very smoothly, like you don't feel anything. And all of this is happening behind the scenes. So yeah. that's the second mode of operation. The third one is on the upshifts. This is where it gets weird. So when the engine revs up, you have to slow it down to make that next shift. Otherwise you get that slap. You know, so we make it very, very smooth. And how we do that is that- There you go, it went there. Right. right. It shifted there. All right, and we do that instead of scrubbing the speed, the engine speed, before we make the shift by in the transmission with the clutches, we don't want to waste that energy. So we grab the crankshaft with the generator, the belt starter generator, we send the electricity back to the battery pack. So we're actually recovering energy, regening energy on the upshift to try to slow the engine down. And it makes for a very, very smooth shift. Okay. Now your cruising speeds. Now we talked before about your first car. What was it? Yeah, a Renault 5 oh, in That's the 80s. Well, many yeah. years ago, carbureted, <laughs> hardly anything power drawn know, on that. Yeah. That car probably could have gone a week with a bad alternator and you uh -huh. would have been fine. Today's vehicles, with all the power accessories, charging batteries, heated seats, you go about 15 minutes and that battery's dead. Okay, so yeah. there's a lot of parasitic loss that the engine has to power up all that stuff while you're at cruising speeds, not with the e-torque on the Ram 1500. We use that 48 volt battery pack back there to run all the 12 volt systems. We convert it to 12 volt. And so your radio, your heater, all everything, all the fan can run off of that battery pack rather than making the engine to do it to create more efficiencies, even at cruising speeds. Okay. That's your fourth mode of operation. Now we're on the downshift. Does the same thing it does on the upshift, only differently. Instead of rev limiting up and revving up the engine with fuel, we rev up the engine with the electric motor to make that downshift very smooth as well. So you don't have to use any fuel to rev limit. And then of course, the last and final, and the most beneficial for hybrids is regen. 
you're in region as soon as you come off and you're coasting you feel that little bit of drag that's pure region feeding that for you and it also system. regens with the brakes it does it will do that too so if you get into the brake pedal yeah it'll do a, a blended oh, okay. so if you push the brake pedal maybe a quarter of an inch eighth of an inch that's pure region if you go any further than that now you're blended with the brakes okay and the region system and then of course if there's a panic brake stop or something where you need to hit the brakes really hard for something uh, we pull all the region out and we let stability control and abs do its work and there you have the six modes of the ram 1500 e-torque system it's standard on the v6 available on the v8 amazing and uh, how much in general uh, percentage wise how much of more efficiency you get with that system compared to the cars without it you're seeing about a 10 to 12 percent improvement in fuel efficiency just That's a lot of money yeah. but like for people who try these cars for these trucks for work or like towing or anything that translates into money and yeah and right? and comfort yeah so the way you feel the shifts even under hard acceleration it makes it very smooth it's more it, it's also an improvement on the dynamics of the performance as well well that's pretty impressive and again i mean we drove the, the truck before and i guess because of what you just explained we don't feel the difference but it's doing the work for us right and that's the idea truck owners they're not so worried about what you're putting into the truck as long as it's performing better more capable and more efficient than their current truck so you got to give them something new on the technology and it better be transparent it better just operate they don't want any buttons to press yeah they don't want any screens to look at just make the truck more efficient and the e-torque system does just that for the well now years. we're gonna go to a little it's not off-roading but it's a dirt road so we can have a little fun maybe oh, here. Great. okay let's go <laughs> Inefficient. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time. Thank you. <laughs>